Hey, hey, how's it going friends? This is Rocco Lupitan and in today's video I'm going to be going over two alternatives to Photoshop where you can make custom YouTube thumbnails easily and quickly. So stay tuned. All right, now the two software tools that we're gonna use today are called Canva and iPiggy. Now, when you make your YouTube thumbnail, make sure that the actual size for this thumbnail is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So now we're gonna go over to my computer really quick and I'm gonna show you how to use both of these tools, which are actually free for you to start making YouTube thumbnails or pretty much any type of uh, digital art uh, that you need to make uh, through your computer. So let's go head over to my computer really quick. All right, so here we are in Canva, and as you can see, I've made a cool set of pictures here on my Instagram account. But all you have to do is, once you are signed up, all you have to do is go over here where it says create a design. And over here, as you can see, there's different types of dimensions and graphics that you could already choose from. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to the very top right, right here, where it says use custom dimensions. Okay, so then that's where you put 1920 by 1080 pixels and then click design. All right, and here we go. And as you can see here through this layout, just leave it blank. And then from here you could start putting in some elements. You could add shapes, illustrations, icons, uh, free stock photos. You can add text. You could add your own type of background. You could change the color to whatever fits your needs, or you could start uploading your own picture. So for example, let's just say we're gonna use this, this picture of this McLaren or something, all right? Just as an example. What you could do, as you can see, it's very, it's pretty cool in how, uh, how quick and fluid this app is. So as you can see, you can just choose whatever background you want. Oh, I meant to add, actually meant to add, or actually darken this. So as you can see on here, let's just go to shapes, hit square. change the transparency and the color to something dark maybe make this a little bit darker right here you can see you could add your own text and as you can see they already have a bunch of awesome layouts right here so for example we could make this a little bit bigger Then we could change the text on here. We do how to make a custom YouTube Whoop. thumbnail. Then just move that a little bit. Could add some more elements. What else can we add? Add some icons on here. Let's see what kind of icons they have. Let's see, thumbnails, some charts. Okay, I can add a little, little design here. Let's try to make this a little bit darker make a YouTube thumbnail we could duplicate this and as you can see that's pretty quick so it's been I mean how long have I been in this video four minutes so within four minutes I was able to make a pretty cool thumbnail with Canva, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, all you gotta do now, once you're done, is you could either save it or you could immediately download it. So 
All you have to do is click download. Make sure that the file, in my opinion, you should change it to PNG since that is going to be the, the highest quality type of picture that you can get. And then click download. Just wait for this to load. And that's it. I just made my custom YouTube thumbnail with Canva. And now we're going to go ahead over to iPicky and I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail through that other tool. All right, so now we are here in iPicky.com. And as you see here in the dashboard, you can upload your own photo, you can create a collage, or you can start making designs. So, what we're going to want to do is go over here where it says make a design. Go for custom size and put it 1920 by 1080 pixels. And let's just pick white just to be safe with our color. Okay, just wait for that to load up. And here we go. So now we have our template here. And as you can see, you can start uploading photos or you can make your own cool design with iPicky. So as you can see here on the bottom left portion, you have free fonts that you can start using. So depending on what you want, let's say if you want to make like a cartoony type of thumbnail, you can put in, oh, <laughs> how to. Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire, Quagmire. You never really know what he's gonna do next. He's Quagmire, Quagmire. <laughs> how to create a YouTube? Actually, let's let's change that. Sorry, muscle memory. Okay, so we got that. A YouTube um, nail. All right, so then let's make this smaller. Make a YouTube thumbnail. Change the size a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that we make this thumbnail pop. So we're gonna go ahead and overlay this, or not overlay, but make this fall behind the text. And then let's make the text a different color. Let's make it back the color white. Now let's change this to red. I think red's good. There we go. <laughs> then what else we could add some cool icons really quick. Make a little put a little heart down there. And there you go. So you can see with that one, we had a YouTube thumbnail in about three minutes. So that's pretty quick. I do like to use both, preferably with me. I like to, right now I'm using Canva a lot more than iPicky, but before I learned about Canva, I was using iPicky, which is why I wanted to show you these two alternatives on uh, making your own custom YouTube thumbnail. So once you're done with that thumbnail, Go ahead and click done or combine layers and then go over here where it says click save. Make sure it's a PNG file and change it to YouTube thumbnail and then go ahead and save it to your computer. So now that we got that down, I'm going to show you how to upload your thumbnail to your actual YouTube video. So that's the next thing we're going to do. All right, so now let's say you upload your video and let's say this is your actual video. So once you have your video uploaded, the very portion right here in the right side of the screen, you're gonna see three preset thumbnails 
that YouTube already chose for you and then you have your custom thumbnail right here and all you have to do is click change image now if your account is fully verified then you can go ahead and start putting up your own custom thumbnails if it's not verified and you just started out uh, I'll, I would recommend going to the YouTube settings tab so go to the very top right right here and go to settings and then go to view additional features right here in the very bottom and as you can see here my channel is verified so all you have to do is just allow or enable monetization to your channel and then double verify it with either your phone number or a proper email address and uh, that's really it so once you have that verified you can start creating and uploading your own custom thumbnails and that's really it so that is all we got all right, my friend, I appreciate you for watching this video. If you found this informative, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Also comment and share the video as well. Now for my question of the day, do you use any other softwares besides the two that I show you? Maybe you use Pixlr or maybe do you use Photoshop or any other tools? If you do use any type of software out there besides the ones that I showed, feel free to comment below because I want to know. Also, if you like content like this within the YouTube space and the marketing space, feel free to subscribe to my channel because I do update this channel frequently. And also, if you want to learn more about internet marketing, preferably affiliate marketing and building businesses online, I've actually made a free course that you could tap into to learn how to do that. So all you have to do is click the link below or click on the button towards the very end of the video. So that's pretty much it, my friends. I really appreciate for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Get it, 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 get